Now, Cup teams will practice tomorrow in Richmond, followed by qualifying for tomorrow night's Xfinity race and then the 250 lap race itself tomorrow night at 730. Now, in the Xfinity field, a local driver who befriended a former Daytona 500 champion and now finds himself living a lifelong dream. Brian Parsons joins us tonight with the story of Matt Waltz. When NASCAR returns to Richmond this weekend, a local driver will be making his debut in Friday night's Xfinity Series race. 25-year-old Matt Waltz from Newport News, one of the top drivers at Langley Speedway in Hampton, will be among the drivers on the track tomorrow in NASCAR's second most prestigious series. I've been racing about my whole life, over half of it now, 16 years. Waltz won 12 of 22 late model races at Langley last season, and it was a chance encounter in Richmond in April with Derek Cope that led to his opportunity to make his first Xfinity Series start. Well, we were walking around the pits and just kind of just meeting and greeting. And the way I see it, if you don't know them, you got to go up and you got to meet them, you know, and that's what I did and how I met these people to get this opportunity. With an engineering degree from Old Dominion on his resume, Watt says his education has helped him in his NASCAR career. I feel like it does help me a lot being an engineer and being a driver at the same time because it, it allows me to be able to talk to everybody. You know, I can talk on their level and um, I can, it helps me relay information back to them that somebody else might not be able to. Waltz has raced Richmond before. He was on the pole for the Denny Hamlin Short Track Challenge, but the stakes are much higher tomorrow when he'll be racing against veteran drivers, many with cup experience. There's still definitely a little bit of, or a, a lot of excitement, and then, you know, a little bit of nerves considering it is something new for me. I'll be a rookie. First time I've really been a rookie in a, in a while, in a few years. I've got to make sure that I go out there and I race smart and don't do anything stupid and make sure I stay away from, um, all the other cars so we can try to avoid any kind of incident. Derek Cope's race team is one of the smaller teams in the series and Waltz has realistic expectations. Derek Cope and them have a good operation there but um, you know we don't quite have the money behind us that a lot of the big teams do. You know we would like to see a good a solid in the 20 to 30 finish range and that's that's realistically about where Derek's been finishing. I would definitely like to match that or, or you know of course try to do better. In Newport News, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.